Howdy, partners! It's Country Bumpkin, and today I'm in Heyday. This is going to be a new series that I am starting. Well, I've been playing Heyday for a little bit now, so I'm not starting from the beginnings, but I'll give you the gist. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Um, all you do is really, you just farm. What did I get? Oh, I got a shovel. Anyway, what you do pretty much is you grow crops. Um, you get livestock and stuff. And yeah, it, you just be a farmer pretty much. It's a good, pretty good game. It's good and wholesome. And it's not a killy killy game, you know. That's all you do is just farm, so in this episode I'm just we're just gonna get I'm gonna get you used to the feel of this. Sorry, let me turn down my volume so you can hear me. And we're, we're just gonna get the feel for heyday. So today all we're gonna do is plant our crops. Make a little money, see? And yeah, what do these peeps want? No, I don't want to spare Nate. You, you can have my corn though, any day. Um, so what I'm really working on is getting this dock. Once you get the docks repaired, and it takes a lot of money, obviously, you get to make shipments to different places for bunches of money and that's what the roadside shop does it's really good at doing that but okay, I gotta move my freaking server but it, is, it doesn't give you that big cash moolah it's really the docks that give you the money so that's what we really want and I know I'm just shoving, shoving you in this and like, hey, look what I do, you know? But sorry, I would have started earlier, but that was in the whole, that was in the whole new phone mix-up because I had this on my old phone, and I simply didn't have the memory for the app I used to record. So I just harvested my chickens for eggs. And now I'm making feed, and I fed them, by the way. Let's make more sugar, because you have things called orders, which gets you money, too. Ooh, look at that. More money. Yeah, anyway, what you get is one of your cornbread. Oops, that's my loom that is being made. A loom is a, a place where you make clothes, pretty much, with wool, where you get where the sheep come in and stuff. I just got those at this level, level 17, yeah. So yeah, and more money, see? The whole, like, the whole uh, point to this game is really just to make money. It's not to like, be the highest level or have more crops than you it's to have money so that's why you have different places you can make variations of money like the roadside shop um, for example I put seven eggs on sale you can push this plus sign and you get you can get the highest the the highest price yeah i'll take that and that's where you get a little bit of money most of your money comes from the orders though the orders are, are the good like that's when my, most of your money comes in at the first of the game because you have to reach level seven to get the roadside shop so yeah I haven't really explored into the docks really much. I don't know if they give you, like, a bunch of money, 
but I'm gonna see. You know, you know, you know. So let's get this chicken feed going on here. And I need more pig feed, uh, cow feed, and sheep feed. Yeah. And by the way, you can like go on friends. Sorry, I'm kind of showing my friends off here. I better not do that. You get this guy named Greg, though. And, yeah. He's like the computer buddy that you always get in other games. And, yeah, he just, once in a while, he will sell stuff in his roadside shop that are freaking cheap. But, they're, they're good stuff. Like, he'll give you a few pumpkins. Like, these are pumpkins. And... They're really kind of a cash crop of this place. And you also give you tools like a saw, which I have, actually, nice. Or an axe, or a shovel, or a TNT, or dynamite, or TNT, or, yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, my idea is to get like a huge acre here. Just huge, all the way to the end of the to the expansion thingy, which you get at level 22, which I think costs a butt ton of money. I don't remember. Anyway, right. yeah, I would have more space if I put an edge on the road, but I have a ditch right here, and where I come from, this is how crops get watered. It's from ditch, ditches. And not to really say I'm a country bumpkin, which I kind of am, but I play in these. I play in ditches. Dude, it, it's fun. Like, on a hot summer day, you're just, oh, it's hot. So you bike over to the local farm, or local acreage of land and crops and crap. And you ask the owner, and you're like, hey man, can I like... Take a little swim in your ditch, see, they're eight diamonds, which is kind of expensive, but, hey man, I'm a realist here, but you ask the owner, I'm like, hey man, can I, yeah, see, they link up, if you can kind of see that, I can't because my finger's in the way, but, yeah, they link up, anyway, I need more diamonds, so, yeah, anyway, you go ask the owner, I'm like, hey man, can I take a swim in your, or take a dip in your, ditch and if he says yes dude they're freaking awesome they're like dirt ditches they're all right the the water's kind of mucky but that's what you get when you get when you're in the country and, um, you get sheep feed first because yeah um anyway here's greg now he's gonna ask for something for money sure go ahead take it um I need money. I need $14,000 to fix up this, this dock. Yeah, I need a lot of money. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, dude, there, there's dirt ditches, which, they're still fun, but you have to watch not to mess up the farmer's ditch, because it's, it's dirt. And when water touches dirt, it turns into mud. And when you come out, you're going to be all muddy, which I wouldn't really care about. But when the water dries up, because they stop the water, because they usually use a barrier or a piping system somehow. And when when all the water evaporates and stuff, you're going to find handprints. That farmer's going to find handprints and footprints and just a big gaping hole in his ditch. So that's why I don't really, I don't really play in dirt ditches a lot. Again, I'm, I'm like a, a kid still, and my landlord, because he's a farmer, he, he lets me play in there, and I'm, jeez, I sound like a two-year-old, let's go play! No, I'm, I'm way older than that, you, yeah, okay, just let you know that. Another order, that's good. More money. Um, anyway, but... Around my house, um... 
There's more cement ditches. Because, dude, I live on a dairy. I live on a dairy. With a big acreage of field. So, let's say this is all, like, acreage. All the way to, like, to this tree. Like, you know, you know, like, from here, straight down to this tree. You know? And crossing back or whatever. Well, past that, there's a little stream or a creek or something like that. And it kind of splits the... Because there's also another acreage of land on my house. Or by my house. And they kind of... The stream kind of separates them. And then on the other side of the road, because let's say this is my house. Back here, past the driveway, behind the barn. There's a little... There's a little road. I go down there and there's there's dirt ditches around the roads. But once you get I hope you're envisioning this. You probably aren't, but whatever. Um it kinda comes to like a turning point and then there's just cement ditches all around. And I I usually play in those because those are fun to play in. Or swimming and stuff. It's fun man. You should try it, man. Um, cause, you have to watch for currents, though. Like, if you open, the farmer opens a, a special little piping line, the current can get a little strong. So, yeah, you have to watch out for that. Other than that, bitches are fun to play in. Like, in swimming, you know? Like, you can get a tube... And tie it off to like a tree or something with a long rope. And you just drift there for hours on end. And once you get hot, you dip in for a little bit and then climb back out and stuff. And you're still fine. It's fun, man. It gets you cooled off quick, too. Necessarily, if you were thirsty, I wouldn't recommend... Oh, crap. I wouldn't recommend drinking the water because most farmers on, in their ditches, they use secondary water, which has contaminants in it, so I would watch out for that, but other than that, ditches are fun, man. I'm a real, I'm a real redneck when you, I'm a real, you know when I'm a real redneck and I'm talking about ditches and how they're so effing fun. Hey man, they are, man. I love them. Um, so I'm gonna sell some wool that I just bought. You just saw me there. Because the thing about wool, it's really kind of a cash kind of item. It's an item you don't see a lot. A lot with indigo. Well, indigo, at the first of the start, was kind of a cash crop. But then it kind of got oversold. Now it's pumpkins. Um, soybeans a little bit, soybeans, let's see, these are soybeans, um, those little green bits right there, those are soybeans, oh, by the way, let's top off with some sheep feed, um, sometimes corn on a good day, wheat is always on the market, because that's the fastest crop to grow, sometimes egg, eggs, um, milk is a good one, pies, and, Popcorn and bacon and eggs and stuff like that. So yeah, those are kind of the cash items, pretty much. Bacon is also one. It's funny because they use a steamer. They don't really kill him. I'll, I'll show you when I get when this little guy gets ready. Oh, well, in two hours, you probably won't see it, but you. Swipe on the, and it's a steamer. It steams them. It doesn't really like slaughter them like in real life, but I don't know. It's gotta, you gotta keep it PG-13 for some odd freaking reason. I'd rather know how my, my, my food is made than told some lies. But that's just me. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a country boy here. He's talk talking about slaughtering pigs and ditches. I think that's cool, though. I think that's a new thing. 
I played this a couple of times back in the past. And I never saw digits until now. And I'm like, oh, dude, I effing need that. Oh yeah, in the next level, we'll get cotton. Jeez, Christ, are we from the south or something? Do I need me some slaves? Um, anime, this is weird. I don't think anybody's loved bacon this much, but we get bacon pie, which is weird. We get syrup. Um, we get cloth fabric. We get hamburgers. Fresh hay for decorative items. A saw and a pig pen. I already have a pig pen, obviously. You can see it right there. But when once you reach a certain level, you get a... Uh, another pen of an animal like I got another cow pen in level 17 when I reached it along with the sheep so level 18 I'll get another pig pen and then probably level 20 or 21 I'll get another another uh, sheep pen Ooh, let's see. Oh, someone bought whatever I sold. Oh, that was wool. Okay. Good, I got my money back then. I didn't, I didn't want to sell all the wool. I might use it once my balloon is up and running. Because it's kind of wild to, to, to build. The thing about this game I love, um, you don't need building materials. Like you do to upgrade your silo and barn, as you can see, they're just minor things. But you can uh, also sell them, and dude, people eat those up like a mother effer. That's like, see, look, 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 and someone's already sold it. See, I was pretty quick on that too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but that when you sell like. It, it can be like one bowl and you'll you'll find it gone in like a minute it's crazy man I would sell some but I I want to keep my hardware even though I only need four screws or five or four nails and four bolts and four planks and four panels to upgrade my silo and barn but I want to keep them so just in case I don't know I could sell them for extra cash in fact screw what I just said I'm gonna do that do these things go up for money too it's crazy see look at that that's freaking crazy I bet you in a minute I'll find these gone poof out of the freaking air. Let's get more. Oh, I don't have enough. No crap. Get rid of this freaking corn, because I like to be organized. I like six wheat, because it's always good to have wheat on you. Four corn, four soybeans, four sugar cane, four carrots, four indigo, and four pumpkins. I'm pretty precise here. See what I tell you? Let me tell you money in the bank I'll probably come back and the nails be gone um yeah let's just harvest those real quick ooh I got an axe good 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 I need axes to chop down trees and crap yeah dude I kinda I really defourerized this forest, deforestation arised. I don't know the word. I I cleared out my land pretty good. This whole side right here used to be all wilderness until I got rid of it, and so did this side. And this whole thing was covered in trees and bushes and crap. So where was it? As right there? No. Or right there? Yeah, right there. Wow, no one's took the nails yet. That's fun. Well, let's see what's on the sale today. Anything good? Ten bacon. I will take that. No, I won't because it has been sold. 
Bacon is another cash item. Pumpkin pie. I like that. Ooh, two cheeses. Ooh. This guy got some good. I just wasted all my money pretty much, but I'm gonna sell these right back. So do you have food? Um, ooh, I need a cheese one more. Let me check if I need anything for an order. Keep the cheese, because, ooh, I already got an order done. Anyways, okay, the cheese is done. Uh, keep the carrot pie. Um, keep the popcorn. Did I buy a carrot pie? Oh, I bought a pumpkin pie. That's what I bought. And sell the pancakes, too. And there you go. We are back in business. Give me my money. What do you want? You want bacon? I'm sorry, you ain't getting bacon. Especially not here. Um, yeah, so, I've been recording for a while now, so, um, so this has been Country Bumpkin, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Remember, keep you on. Yeehaw!